It's feeling so good, like my hair feeling so juicy, my scalp clean. Trinity Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome to my bathroom. I am excited because I'm doing a product review, I'm just even doing a video because it's been a while, as you guys know. Yeah, been busy, yeah, okay. But anyway, so I'm here to demo the new She Scented line and I'm excited about that. Let's get right into it. The She Scented Plum Nectar and I gave line coming to you right now. I did buy kind of pretty much an end to end so we can do from shampoo to styler. Even kind of have two stylers, yes. So let's get into it. So my hair is dirty, yes. So it's definitely a good day to test this. Let's see what we come up with. So this says Curl Perfection. I don't need Curl Perfection from a shampoo. I just need it to cleanse and moisturize, but let's see what happens. Rich Nourishing Sulfate Free Cleanser. Don't mind if I do. Let's go. So I don't know, I just love the consistency and I love like the color, like the whole opaque kind of thick. Smells fruity and kind of slightly perfumey, fishy scented. I needed this. Um, instant lather, which is good. Oh yes, my scalp is really dirty. <laughs> That's the thing about coming on kind of live, is like you guys gonna get all the feels. <laughs> and right now this is feeling amazing. I love the foam because I only did one little squeeze and this thing is foaming all over the place. I'm gonna do a little bit more just for the top, but I probably don't even need it. I could probably just kind of work this around. But yeah, so I kind of do curly girl method with shampoo. <laughs> In other words, I use the kind of curly girl friendly products, but I shampoo because oh yes, I do love a good shampoo on my scalp. I work out. Um, the conditioner life would not do it for me at all. <sighs> this feels good. It feels good, my hair feels moisturized, doesn't feel stripped, so I feel like I can pretty much live with the shampoo in my hair. Of course, I am gonna rinse it out, but I almost feel like I didn't need to. A lot of times we put in shampoo and it's like a panic, get it out. My hair is actually feeling pretty good, so, so far we are winning. Of course, the true test with shampoos is always when you rinse it out, but so far, so good. This could be a new favorite shampoo for sure. If it keeps this good vibe after we rinse, because it's a little bit stronger, at least than the Basket Bloom Herbal Cleanse. Like this is definitely a shampoo shampoo. You saw that it was about the foam, but it's very moisturizing. So it's more cleansing and still very moisturizing. Let me rinse this out. It feels good like I want to leave it in forever, but the show must go on. So let me just rinse it. Mm, it feels really good. <laughs> okay, let me rinse it and then talk about it. Before I start rinsing, let me just show you, yes, I have shampooed my hair and my hands are going through. Okay, so definitely a yes, this product smells amazing, my hair feels soft. I love the kind of texture of it, kind of like a light, gelish thing almost, like you know, just slightly thick. Smells great, foams instantly, foams a lot. Cleanses without stripping, my hair feels soft, my scalp feels amen. So I love the shampoo. It had like my hair had like weeks of at least two weeks of gunk on it and product reapplication on it and everything is off, but it's not stripped. It still feels soft to the touch. You can see I kept it in for a while and it still loves me. My hair still loves me at the end. Like once I can do this after a shampoo and it feels soft, yeah, we are winning. So yeah, I love the shampoo. Let's continue to the deep conditioner. <laughs> Next we have the Moisture Rich Hair Mail. Definitely on the thick side. Um, fishy scented of course, but still... I don't know. It just looks like it's gonna penetrate, if you know what I mean. Like it looks like that kind of off-white, honey-ish, humectant-ish, loaded kind of thing. Spreads nice. Spreads like a dream. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, <laughs> the slip is there, the moisture is there, my hands are like gliding through just instantly. Of course, a lot more to put in, so let me just put it in and come back to ya. Mm. 
So it's all in. My hair feels soft and moisturized. I haven't let it sit yet, so I know it's going to feel even more amazing. <laughs> Once I let it sit, so I'm about to go do that. The slip is great as usual, which she sent it. Always has excellent slip. The moisture is superb. It kind of reminds me of the pomegranate and pear, which I also love. Probably love this for similar reasons. Maybe the ingredients are kind of similar, but it's doing things for me. Good things. So, yeah. I'm going to let it sit, and then I'll be back. Um, you know me, I'm always kind of a little heavy-handed with my deep conditioners, especially I haven't deep conditioned for like two or three weeks or more. Like, I don't even remember really to tell you the truth. The last time I deconditioned. So I definitely, you know, put a lot. <laughs> but it feels good. Um, let me show you. Let me show you how much I used. So I did just kind of keep going. I think I used half. Um, a normal person on my hair could have probably got me do it like a quarter, I would say. <laughs> I'm heavy handed, so I don't know. But I didn't need to use this much, I can tell you that. Because my hair feels really thick with product, but in a good way. So yeah nice typical she said it scent more fruity than fragrancy the shampoo was the first fragrancy type scent i'm still in a fruity way but kind of fragrancy that i've kind of experienced from she said it that i can remember so going good so far another winner i would definitely repurchase both the shampoo and the conditioner so far okay so we're back after letting it sit for 30 minutes of course i mean do i have to say anything it looks amazing my curls look super tight, which means it's like really moisturized and hydrated, which I love. Feels juicy, definitely. <laughs> I can tell like my hair does absorb all the moisture and all the goodness. So, you know, butter. <laughs> you know, I mean, this is like awesome. Loving it so far. Now, after a successful shampoo and deep condition, I'm going to get into the wash and go. So, yep. So I'm gonna just go ahead and section this and then rinse and wash and go section by section. That's how I prefer to do it. I think Natural 85 taught me that. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, so we're back, halfway done. The back looks amazing. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do the front for you guys. This is my hair after rinsing the deep conditioner. Very moisturized, very soft. And we're ready to apply the leave-in. I love that this is both a leave-in and a style of yogurt. You all know how much I love the last yogurt, so... But I don't really use cream, so using the last yogurt as a cream was nice, but being able to use a yogurt leave-in is just that much better. So this is the consistency, again, rich and creamy. Not as thick as the DC, but still rich and creamy. But I actually like it because it spreads just as easily as the DC. So it's thick enough that it's easy to handle and it's not running all over. But it still spreads super easily. So it's like the best of both worlds. So I'm happy with that as well. I'm going to get a lot of uses out of that. So this is spreading. See how easy it is to apply. And easy to get onto the hair. And does good things once it's on the hair. Makes my hair just feel soft, moisturized, covered and with goodness, basically. <laughs> so, yeah. So this is after applying the leave-in. My hair is moisturized, my hair is defined. I'm pretty much ready to go, so now we're gonna add the styler. So this is the Curl Perfection Styling Custard. So I actually thought about adding the curling syrup as well, but then like this alone was kind of enough and I didn't want to overdo it. So for this wash and go, I'll just use this. This one I think is gonna just have a soft hold, so I was thinking it would be a topper, but I don't use toppers and this is why, because I don't know, like the whole extra, I'm not really extra-ish type. <laughs> so this felt good enough, so I'm gonna use this for now and then maybe someday I'll top <laughs> and use this. This is thick, as you can see. Um, kind of jellyish, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So it's actually super slimy, like you can see. But I can still, I guess, feel the PVP, I think it is. I, I can still feel that it's not all 
100% as natural as I usually use with my gels. But other than having to re-wet it, it really feels good on my hair. And my curls look and feel juicy. So I'm thinking this could definitely work as my new favorite. She said the style of maybe. Like you see how it dries. But if it kind of continues as it's looking now, we might be on to something for sure. <laughs> This is pretty much it for this side. A lot of curl definition. So we'll see what happens. It's kind of interesting. Like I can't really tell exactly what's going to happen. It is very fine, but not super flat. So we'll see basically how much hole this turns into and how much furs I get and so on when it dries. Less touching would help with that. <laughs> Alright, just trying to figure out. I think I have a clip somewhere, but anyways. <laughs> Alright, so let's just do this side and that's that. Alright, so this is pretty much my hair. After applying the product, I'm going to do my usual shake and we'll be done. At least until it dries. So I'm excited, my hair feels so, my scalp clean, my hair moisturized, my hair defined, like this is wash day heaven I believe. So I'm just holding out that little, let's wait and see until it dries, but this is wash day heaven. When you finish your wash day and everything, feeling perfect, yeah, winning. <laughs> Coming to you live, you know, <laughs> from my bathroom. So this is it, wash day complete. Like I said, my hair is defined, but it's not super flat. So it probably will dry a little bit, like on the big side, and maybe a little bit frizzy, but I don't mind frizz at all, as long as my hair is soft and moisturized, and hold it together in some form or fashion. Like, I don't mind. So we'll see what happens. This is it. <laughs> this is it. And you see what happens when it dries. This is my result. I'm enjoying it. As you can see, it's bouncy, it's defined. Nice elongation and stuff, so I'm happy with it. I started off with the Curl Perfection Shampoo. So I just love this. I think this scent, this line probably is my favorite scent. And I just like the light little purple and stuff. I didn't know I like purple so much until this. But this, the consistency of the shampoo kind of gel-like, it's almost like a light gel. This is one of my favorite shampoos now. Top three, Pum Nectar and I gave Curl Perfection Shampoo. So I'll definitely be repurchasing this when I'm buying because these days I'm living a shampoo life. I can't even say when last I've co-washed. I've been pretty much shampooing every wash day. The whole line says for all curl types and it feels like it's for all curl types so I'm pretty happy with it because it's kind of rich and creamy but it also spreads easily and is light like the, all the products that I tried. Hopefully you can see it, all the bling. We had like the fruit extracts and we had the cocoa betaine and decal glucoside and agave nectar. It does have like polypot 7 in here but I took the plunge and I don't regret it. My hair didn't feel coated or weird like when I use heavier polypot shampoos. It actually felt clean after I washed so we're all good with that. Love. Next we have the moisture rich hair mail. So, I would say a little goes a long way. I did use half, but I did kind of go crazy because I haven't deep conditioned in like three weeks before or something. I don't even remember. And I did kind of just make sure I had it on there. Consistency is, again, thick. But again, like I said, it spreads easily. So it's a good kind of cross for all hair types and textures, I guess. This one was more straight fruity, so a nice plum scent. Very moisturizing. But I would say it's like, a little little heavier than her old school ones but still super moisturizing I think she sent it kind of taught me or fake taught me that like I want light deep conditioner so the fact that this one is a little bit creamy is kind of freaking me out but when I tell you this spreads easily it doesn't spread like a thick cream at all um let me just bite the bullet and show you because I want you all to see this so this is like the texture and you think it's like super heavy but 
it just spreads like like that like no problem at all so yeah we do see the plum extract featuring and I like how high up it is as well she isn't faking us out it's like water and then plum fruit extract okay go on ahead I like that the BTMS I think is what's giving it that thickness because it doesn't have any butters per se I was saying how much I love the pomegranate and pear line this is really similar to that for me and I guess you know pomegranate pear plum you know probably kind of kind of similar I don't know but it definitely worked similar for me and I loved it so then we get to the styling and I have the leave-in and styling hair yogurt so I love this as well, no surprise. It's a leave-in that you kind of have to dip. But I like that because it was like easy to control how much I used. So for once, like I don't think I used too much. I don't know, I have to go over the footage. But I felt like I could control how much I used because it just stayed in my hands. It wasn't running or dripping anywhere. So it was easy to apply. Plus again, like the deep conditioner, it spread really easily. Instant slip, everything, no problems. Moisture was there, definition was there. The leave-in for everybody, high porosity, low porosity, I don't know, type 4, type 3, whatever, check it out. This is I definitely repurchased, like this is now my She Scented Leave-in, yeah, this is my She Scented Leave-in, my She Scented Shampoo. I love all the deep conditioners, so that's tough, but this deep conditioner is also seeing me again. Again, we have that plum coming in right there after water, give it to us, give us the truth. I don't really see any like hold ingredients, so I don't know much about hold in terms of this like if you just use it by itself But I will say the definition was there and the moisture was there It says leaving and styling, but I would probably more use it as a leave-in or cream Especially for like kinkier textures Next I went in with this Curl Perfection Styling Custard I definitely want to say it's a custard So more like a gel than a cream, which I like because these days you're buying custards and they're just creams and you're like, oh gosh, what's going to happen to me? I didn't have to go through any of that with this because it was definitely a custard. It has a nice thick jiggly consistency and it's super stretchy. Look at that, you know? So I like that about it. And it also felt like really kind of moisturizing. I will say I did feel that PVP, like I like my stuff, I like my stylus especially, I like all my products. I like all my products to be super natural. So it really kind of like, I'm not really a fan of the stylers with like Kabama, PVP, Hydroxyl, Ethyl Cellulose, like all that stuff. Just give me the pectin and the xanthan gum and we good. Or maybe guar gum, I don't see that that often in stylus these days. But pectin and the gums we good, flaxseed, stuff like that. I did have to re-wet my hair after I applied it. But other than that, everything went well. It did moisturize and define my hair well, so I'm happy with that. I did see that little bit of frizz when it was wet, so I knew we were coming in for a kind of big, kind of big hair, not super big, and a little frizzy, but still kind of with that cute little definition as well. So, yeah. So I got exactly what I was expecting. It didn't blow up or anything. It stayed nice, stayed defined, stayed cute. So I'm happy with it. In terms of whether I prefer the Tahiti cocktail or this, I don't know. I'll have to probably get back to you on that. I am loving my hair. Like I can just, loving my hair is just a vibe. Like, you know, when you love how your hair came out, it's just like, I have to just look at how I'm feeling, like how much I'm swaying and stuff to really tell you how much I like it because it's just like a vibe. And I'm loving this, but I remember loving the tiny cocktail as well. So I don't know. So I'll have to get back to you in terms of like which one I prefer. This one a little goes a long way, but I think I said the same thing for the Tahiti cocktail as well. My hair is moisturized and defined, and I think you love it. Again, that water and the plum, even though the PVP is there, it's kind of at the bottom, so that's good. Lots of moisturizing ingredients in there. And the xanthan gum is in there as well. The PVP is just at the very bottom. So I think overall this is a great gel. And I do recommend it. I'm just super picky with gels as you guys know. I'm going to mention this plum nectar and I gave curling syrup. So I didn't actually try it. My hair just felt like it had enough. Like I always want to try these toppers and stuff. But I just kind of like to be minimal as well. So put in my leave-in, put in my gel. I didn't really feel like doing more. So I decided to leave it out this time, so I don't really have a review for you guys this time. But probably next time I use the custard, I probably will try topping it with this. Maybe next time, even if I'm using some kind of extreme wet line or something, I might try topping it with this and then let you guys know. But yeah, overall, definite winner. Shampoo, deep conditioner, leave-in. Can't go wrong. 
custard if you like she sent the stylus i think this is one of the better ones just depends on what you like for your hair but i'm liking it as you can see so <laughs> so yeah so that's it let me know if you've tried it let me know if you got it for black friday let me know if you want to try it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye